Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, I'll be showing you guys what winning a jackpot at every single casino game looks like in Grand Theft Auto Online. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, aren't the jackpots just limited to the slot machines? That's actually not true. There's actually a couple of other casino games as well that have their own form of a jackpot that the game acknowledges, which is really cool. And you might not have experienced them before. If you're like me, you probably haven't been lucky enough to experience them. So let's actually begin with the lucky wheel. Now, the game considers winning the vehicle, the podium car, to be the jackpot uh, for spinning the lucky wheel. Now, if you were to just spin the wheel normally and land on something like money or RP or clothing, you will just get an in-game alert and it'll tell you either what item you won or what amount of said thing you've won. However, if you actually land on the vehicle, something special will happen. Take a listen to this. Congratulations to our player at the Lucky Wheel, who just won a luxury car. So as you guys heard there, the lady that talks over the intercom of the Diamond Casino and Resort gives us a little congratulations. You can also see that the walls of the Diamond Casino and Resort turn to a golden confetti. And then we end up getting a text message from Tom Connors who says, hey, a little bird told me we have a big winner. Congratulations. That's a nice set of wheels. I'm already raising a glass of bubbly on your behalf. Your mechanic has the key, so give them a call and take it for a spin. So that is what happens when you win the jackpot. They certainly make a big deal of it. And in case you guys are wondering, also, if you happen to win the lucky wheel car or the podium vehicle, the next time you enter the casino, it will be completely removed. Like you won't find a vehicle uh, on the wheel, which is certainly kind of interesting because I'm so used to seeing it spinning there. It's kind of weird when there's not a car there. So that is what happens if you win the jackpot on the lucky wheel. Now let's move on to the slot machines. So as I'm sure you guys know by now, there are different values of the slot machines. There are some that have pretty minimal bets, like five chips to 25, some intermediate, like uh, 100 to 1,000, and then there's some big ones like 500 to 250. So each individual slot machine has its own sort of congratulation for winning the jackpot. So let's begin with what happens if you win the Diamond Miner jackpot, which if you were to set that to 2,500 chips as your bet, this would be the maximum jackpot that you could win. Congratulations to the winner of the massive Diamond Miner slot machine jackpot. So as you heard there, that lady again comes over the intercom and you hear this sort of like school, like class bell going off. That's like the best way I can describe it. It basically alerts the entire casino that like a jackpot has been won, which is really cool. So that right there is the diamond miner. Also one of the high end slots is deity of the sun. This is what happens if you win the jackpot on that machine. So again, those school alarm bells go off and you get that congratulations from the lady over the intercom. Now let's move over to one of the sort of in-between games, which is Twilight Knife. This is what happens if you win the slot machine there. So it's pretty cool and in some instances the announcer lady will make like a reference to the type of game you're playing. 
So for this Twilight Knife one, I think they made a joke about death or something like that. Either way, it's pretty cool. And the final set of slot machines, there's actually two of them. It's Evacuator and Famer Shame. And on Evacuator and Famer Shame, there's like a bonus spin wheel that you get if you get the jackpot. So as you guys saw there, not only did you get chips for winning the jackpot, but it also triggered like a bonus mini game that happened. And in this instance, they ended up winning a t-shirt for the evacuator game. I think it actually get, it ends up giving you like weapons and whatnot. So it is pretty cool. Those two slot machines are sort of the low value ones, but they do come with like extra bonuses if you happen to hit a jackpot, which is pretty cool. So that's the slot machines right there. Now you know that each slot machine has an individual jackpot announcement and some even have unique rewards that are tied to them as well. Now let's move on to the next game that actually has a jackpot indicator and that is three card poker. So in three card poker, the jackpot that they consider is a straight flush, which means you've got three cards in a row, like seven, eight, nine, and they're all of the same suit, so like hearts or diamonds. So it is the rarest hand in three card poker, it is the one that pays out the most. And because of that, this is what happens when you end up winning the jackpot, or winning a hand, I should say, uh, with a straight flush. The Diamond Casino and Resort would like to congratulate the player at the three-card poker more. table who just won with a straight flush. Well done. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. A straight flush was just sighted at one of so the three-card poker tables. So again, really cool stuff. The alarm bells go off and the announcer lady says, like, you know, at the three-card poker table, someone just got a straight flush. So that's pretty awesome right there. Now, the next game mode is the inside track horse racing. And while this mode doesn't necessarily have a jackpot for a particular horse, every time you do win or every time a certain horse wins, the, I guess, announcer, the jockey guy of the inside track will say something usually pretty funny about the winning horse, something like this. So there's no announcement that like comes over the entire casino. There's no like school alarm bells or anything like that. Uh, but individually, it is kind of cool to listen to what that guy has to say. And as far as the other two game modes go, you've got blackjack and roulette. Now, the best possible hand you could get in blackjack is obviously a blackjack, something like a ace and a jack or an ace and a king, which would obviously give you 21 paying out three to two and automatically giving you the win as long as the dealer doesn't have a blackjack too. But there's no like big announcement that comes over the casino when that occurs. Uh, so no announcement, no alarm bells or anything like that. And as far as roulette goes, there's no insane payout either. You just simply put the amount of chips on a number or evens or odds or, you know, the final 18 or the middle 18. So there's no like insane payout when it comes to roulette. So there's no big jackpot announcement as far as that goes. So quickly recapping the three casino games that will give you some sort of extra jackpot celebration includes the lucky wheel, the slot machines, and three card poker. With the inside track horse racing having a little bit of it and then blackjack and roulette almost having none of it. So that's really cool. Something, again, you might not have known about here in GTA Online is that there's super exaggerated celebrations that occur when you end up hitting a jackpot at one of the handful of casino games. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Have you hit any of the jackpots on the slot machines or have you won the podium car from the lucky wheel? Let us know your success stories at the Diamond Casino and Resort in the comments down below. We'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. 
And remember to subscribe if you guys are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA 5 casino news, info, videos, and more. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.